Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Aoi and welcome back to yet another video here on the channel guys. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can get a How to Train Your Dragon mod on your Xbox One Minecraft. But before we get into the video guys, make sure you leave a like, share, and subscribe for a ton of Minecraft content every single day. As well as turn on post notifications to never miss out on another upload. But without further ado guys, let's jump into today's tutorial. So first things first, what you want to do is download this app right here, My Files Explorer. Now you can get it for $2.99 on the Microsoft Store. However, there is a way to get it for free because this app actually offers a 24-hour free trial. Now, I highly recommend getting the app just paying for it if you are interested in modding your Minecraft. However, if you want to, I guess, bypass the payment, you can just consistently reuse the 24 hour free trial with the new account every single 24 hours because it doesn't change the minecraft that you're putting mods in at all because i mean it, the xbox account is still on your xbox but um once you get this app installed whether you just use the 24 hour free trial or you just um buy the app like i recommend uh head into microsoft edge and go to this website right here which is mcpedl.com slash how to train your dragon now if you don't want to i guess go to that website you can just go to mcpedl.com go to this little search button right here hit a on it and then just search up how to train your dragon it's the first result right there but anyways once you get to this page right here just go all the way down um and just find the downloads tab right here now what you want to do right here is either use the link which has ads on it to support him however i'm just going to use this link with no ads because it does make it easier to explain so just hit a on that link and it'll bring you directly to this media fire page now once you get to this media fire page just simply hit a on download and what that'll do is open up a different page which uh will refresh real quickly and then you can close it and then once you get back to your media fire page you should just have this little save icon down at the bottom hit a on that and it'll finish downloading now here's where you want to have my files explorer basically open that up and it'll not look like that when you first get here it'll look something like this what you want to do is just hit a on this three dot icon go into settings and change your theme i believe if it's your first time opening up you won't be able to see anything so what you want to do is just change the theme to anything on the bottom and you'll be good now i like this red theme because i mean it's a theme of the channel red is kind of like the color however you can choose whatever one you want whether it be blue pink i guess or red or i guess this lighter blue or even yellow if you want but um once you do that what you want to do is just hit b and then go back up to the three dot icon one more time but this time go into add folder to library once you do that just hit the two square icon on your controller to basically navigate around this little pop-up and hit a on this little xbox icon right here then scroll all the way down and hit a on select now what that'll do is add this user mgr4 folder to your little tab however don't freak out if it's not user mgr4 specifically because the number at the end doesn't matter i don't know how many times i have to say this guys but you can have like user mgr16 user mgr like eight or like two or something it doesn't matter what number it is it you might not even have a number it'll still work as long as you just have the general user mgr folder but anyways once you do have this folder hit a on it to open it up and then go into downloads and scroll all the way down to the bottom till you hit these mc pack folders right here from here what you want to do is find the how to train your dragon uh mc pack which could take some looking around you probably won't have as many folders and files in here like i do because you know i do a lot of these mods right here but as you can see it's httyd uh mc add-on but what you want to do once you find it is just hit the start button and throw this button on your controller and then hit a on extract now what that'll do is actually extract the packs pretty quickly because as you can see once you open it up in a folder you actually have to extract the behavior pack and the resource pack so go ahead hit the start button and throw this button on your controller extract the behavior pack first this won't take very long it's a behavior pack they never really take that long but then you'll want to move on to the resource pack. So hit the start button or throw this button on your controller. Then hit extract one more time. And this one will take a little bit longer. However, depending on your internet speed, it probably won't take that long. As you can see, I don't have very good internet. And this is just flying through for me. As you can see, I'm already at 90%. And 
as you can see it is already done but what you want to do once you have both of them extracted is start with the behavior pack as you can see right here uh extracted right here when you open it up you'll have all this stuff what you want to do is just hit the start button or through lines button on your controller and then go into move folder hit a on that and you should be good to go then as you can see over here there's some my library section what you want to do is go into isolated storage now as you can probably see i know i've said that like so many times in this video i don't know why i'm doing that you want to look for packages now if you don't have packages i do have a tutorial on how to get packages on my channel so just scroll through and eventually you'll find that video however i would recommend finishing watching this video first so you kind of know what to do once you get packages so basically open up packages right here and then scroll all the way down until you find this microsoft.minecraft uwp console folder now this can spawn anywhere within this packages tab so just look around and eventually you'll find it but once you do find it open it up then go into the local state folder then the games folder then the com.mojang folder and what you want to do is go into this behavior packs folder and this resource packs folder however if you do not have either of these folders do not worry because you can just go up to this top right hand corner hit a on the three dots and then hit a on new folder and just simply type in behavior underscore packs or resource underscore packs it really doesn't matter uh which one you're doing i mean you do have to do them both so i mean as long as you spell it right you're good to go make sure you don't have the little space instead you replace it with the underscore and of course make sure you uh have everything lowercase because if you don't have it lowercase it will not work but anyways once you have the behavior packs folder created as you can see it just created a copy for me do the exact same thing with resource packs and you'll be good to go i'm going to delete this copy because i don't really need it and um yeah as you can see what you want to do next is just open up this behavior packs folder and then scroll all the way over to this right hand section where there's nothing here and just hit the start button or three lines button on your controller then go all the way down to paste hit a on that and what that'll do is move the extracted folder all the way from your i guess normal extracted folder in your this device area to your behavior packs within your game then you can go ahead and go over to this right hand side hit a on this device and then go back into user mgr4 back into downloads and back into your HTTYD folder. Now, as you can see, there's no behavior pack in here. You'll want to just do the exact same thing with your resource packs to basically take it out of here as well. So hit the start button, the lens button on it, and then go into move folder. Then I'm just gonna skip it, go back into isolated storage, back into packages, and um, as you can see, all the way over here, you'll want to go back into your Microsoft.Minecraft UWP console folder, then go back into local state, back into games back into com.mojang but this time go into resource packs and not behavior packs then once you get in here guys go all the way to the right hand side hit the start button or do the button on your controller hit a on paste and once again the resource packs always do seem to take longer and uh it's just gonna move all the way over here remember depending on your internet it could take quite some time but as you can see i have pretty bad internet and it already finished but anyways, once you have both of them pasted in and their corresponding folders, whether it be the behavior pack or the resource pack, obviously you got to make sure you do them both before getting into this. You'll want to head into Minecraft because that's where the final step is. So I'm going to cut to you guys once I'm loaded into Minecraft. I'll see you guys in just a second. All right, guys. So once you get loaded into Minecraft, hit A on play and create a new world. Now you can add this to a previous world, but there is a slight chance I could bug out, so I just wouldn't risk it, and I would just create a new world. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into creative. However, they do spawn in naturally if you do not want to go into creative and you just want to play on a survival world. But what you want to do, guys, is go into your resource packs. Just simply turn on your how to train your dragons beta to resource pack now turn that on and then go into behavior packs and do the exact same things to turn that bad boy on right there but just simply activating it and that'll turn off achievements but you should be good to go all right guys so once you get your behavior packs turned on go up into your game settings and scroll all the way down until you find use experimental gameplay Take that on and you should be good to go and create your world now i'm gonna do a quick little showcase but you've probably already seen this mod in the latest episode of mod review so um yeah i'll see you guys in a sec for a quick little showcase all right guys so i just got loaded into minecraft it looks like xx savage one of my subs actually joined the world so that's kind of weird and he's got a hero vine skin on so that's that's pretty sick but what you want to do is actually just simply open up your mob eggs and as you can see there's three new eggs in here you can have the natter the monstrous nightmare and the light fury now i believe there's a couple more eggs in here 
but um yeah we'll see in just a sec but what you want to do is just simply go into the thing and as you can see i just spawned in a natter right here this is a pretty freaking sick dragon right here not gonna lie here's the monstrous nightmare right here sick dude that's so cool and then of course we have the light fury now there is what's what's the main dragon's name i forgot his name but he is also in here there's a couple more but since i demonstrated all those in mod review i'm not going to go ahead and showcase them in here but these guys you can actually attach saddles on and everything as you probably saw in the latest episode of mod review and you can ride them around but yeah that's going to wrap it up for the video guys if you enjoyed make sure to leave your like share and subscribe if you're new for all sorts of videos just like this every single day. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, you freaking nerds.